Christmas by Lori Roche. I am holding a pocket flashlight, and the fingertips of my right hand have slightly frozen up. The shaky sharp light tears out sparkles of snow that covers each and every inch of huge pine trees. A narrow pathway crossed by trunks of the fallen trees, animals traces and tracks laid by the skiers leads deep into the middle of the winter forest. I try to breathe shortly and make longer exhalations as the bitterly cold air, drop by drop, carries out the heat out of the body. There are two other people nearby. Surrounded by the slight noise of our own chatting, we instinctively perceive all that ringing silence a few steps away to the depth of the forest. Please hold the flashlight. My hands are getting frozen. The sound of my voice makes a bird to fly up, to drop off some snow from pine needles. I laugh quietly, enjoying the sensation of gathering all fingers back together in a fist and start breathing out forcefully to warm them up. This way, says our guide, who happens to know this forest even better than animals who are inhibited and for some time we are walking in silence. The next thing I find myself doing is asking my companions to pick up a few shrubs of lingonberry directly from under the snow. I feel astonished as the idea forms in my mind to brew a lingonberry infused tea from these fresh shrubs. It is incredible how fast the imagination combines current experiences and necessities, the words we hear and the unpredictable objects that we suddenly find at hand. And then you realize new neural pathways have just been created in your brain and you have learned something you never knew about yourself before, something unbelievably simple. I am standing in the middle of the forest, listening to two people asking me about lingonberry and its properties, and think that they have not noticed anything. In the meantime, the electric light has just thrust through my soul, fueled the heart, and fired up the sparkles inside my eyes. There is no external attention or recognition, only emptiness, vibrant and alive. When major changes happen, they come unnoticed till the very last moment. You may spot them while walking along the crowded Christmas decorated avenue of the big city. Some second just breaks the ordinary endless flow of thoughts, and people you come across may bring a flavor of lingonberries into your life and the cold spirit of the winter forest. You may also spot these changes when you decide not to cancel the flight and wait for a little more so that words would be able to find their natural way of expression. But the most delicate moment comes when a flash within your mind brings the complete image to consciousness and your hands keep slightly shaking with joy for a few moments. I close my eyes and concentrate on the melody of the voice of my companions. The meaning of the conversation has completely lost its importance. Should we return back home now? The voice has raised this question in such a confirmative manner that nobody will question the decision. My thoughts are flowing slowly while I think about the bunch of shrubs we are bringing to the Christmas table. It all looks as a game of chance, the exceptionally cold winter, downhill ski pans, the frozen forest, words of Latin, and the Christmas service on the radio. A few hours later, I am laying in the armchair, staring at the ever-changing golden flames that jump and dance in the fireplace, and drinking a strong lingonberry brew. The time has stopped for some in and out breath, tailed away in the frost of a high starry sky shining through the large windows of the wooden house. How is the tea? Do you still feel cold? Well, no, it's all perfect now, thank you. I hear myself answering almost asleep, and all at once 
I sense that these moments will become a memory at any tick of the clock. This sharp thought makes my brain shudder and create a very clear picture of three people around the Christmas tree and the room filled with the invisible flavor of the winter lingonberry. <laughs>